Greetings to my friends throughout the Diocese of Fort Worth. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Father Ryan Reed, Dean of St. Vincent's Cathedral. I've served in this capacity since June of 2002. Uh, prior to that, I served four years at Ascension St. Mark's in Wise County with a brief stand at St. Patrick's in Bowie. Uh, I began my ordained ministry here at St. Vincent's as a curate from 1996 to 1998. But I actually entered the Diocese of Fort Worth in 1991 uh, after I completed Infantry Officer Basic Course at Fort Benning, Georgia. I moved in with my in-laws here in Hearst, Texas uh, and began uh, working as a full-time youth minister at St. Andrews downtown. Uh, from there we went to seminary for three years and then returned here to St. Vincent's. Uh, I've had the wonderful opportunity to serve in various capacities throughout the diocese. Uh, I served initially uh, on the Commission on Ministry for Lay Ministry. Uh, then the Finance Committee, the Executive Council uh, for 12 years on the Standing Committee, 10 years as President during some very uh, difficult times in the Diocese. Uh, I also served at three general conventions and then I had the privilege of serving on the, uh, stewardship, or the uh, uh, Steering Committee for the Anglican Communion Network uh, along with the Common Cause Roundtable which would then lead to the birth of the Anglican Church in North America. Uh, I'm finishing up a five of six year stint on uh, the executive committee for the ACNA, uh, which is functionally a vestry for the National Church and a board of advisors for the Archbishop. Um, I wanted to offer up a couple thoughts about uh, scripture, my favorite scripture. The first is Romans 10.9, where St. Paul writes that if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I think what resonates with me is just how simple the gospel is. Uh, anybody can grasp that. It's, it's a very concrete either or proposition. Uh, and I embrace entirely Jesus as my Lord and I believe completely in my heart that he was raised from the dead and that's why I do what I do every day. Uh, the other one um, would be John 1 verse 12 uh, where St. John writes in his prologue, to all who received him who believed in his name, he gave the power or the right to become children of God. That whole adoption theology resonates with me. I was adopted at birth. Uh, three weeks after being born, my parents brought me home and raised me as their own son. And the idea that God would uh, come down to earth in order that we might become his children, adopted sons and daughters through the, the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Uh, but even more than that, uh, we're promised uh, to be heirs with Christ in glory. Um, and on a personal level, that certainly resonates with me. And it is really the power of the gospel to change lives, to become his children. And so I stand before you today with a commitment uh, to share the transforming love of Jesus Christ in whatever ministry capacity I may be called to. Uh, I thank you for your time and patience today. God bless.